Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today video, guys, man, we're going to be taking the transmission out of the Grand National and we're going to be shipping it out to Dave. Uh, so I already got started on it. I already drained the fluid out on this side. So now all I got to do is go over and move my cooler lines over, hopefully to get some fluid out of that. And uh, we're going to do that right now. So when I jacked it up, it drained out a little bit more right there. So while it's draining, I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and unhook. Uh, I don't know if I can focus in, but I'm going to hook that transmission line right there, that cooler line. I don't know why it's not zooming in. I'm going to unhook that right there and let it drain for at least for, for a day. All right, so I got the uh, transmission fluid drained from the transmission. So now I need to do is go on the other side. I wanted to... Uh, what I want to do is unhook those, well, I want to unhook the uh, transmission cooler lines and let them drain out for a little bit. And then we'll go from there. All right, so. Take this right here off. Let's see if any fluid comes out of this. So. So it's a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'll probably go on the other side and jack that side up and let it drain. But I'm gonna get on, I'm gonna unhook that other line right there and just let both of them dry. I'm gonna just leave it like this overnight. And just let it drip. So let me do I'm gonna remove this one right here and just let them drip. I know there ain't nothing coming from the line, but you never know. And then I'm going to lower it down and hopefully it'll catch something. So let me get it started. So, so far, guys, man, I got the, everything drained. I got my transmission fluid drained. I got the the uh, cooler lines unhooked over it. Hopefully get uh, some of the uh, fluid out. Not all of it, probably. But as long as it's not enough that, you know, they drip while I'm removing the transmission. And also I went ahead and uh, went to Harbor Freight and got some of these, uh, these dollies that I wanted. So now I gotta do is just put these together, put these together, and uh, so I can move the car in and out, so I can work on it, uh, remove the drive shaft and all that stuff, and then drop that transmission, and it'd be ready to ship out to Dave. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these things put together, and uh, so we can scoot this thing on out. So like I say, guys, I'm, I'm starting on it. Uh, we're going to get this thing together. Uh, hopefully, I don't know how long it's going to take him to get it done. Hopefully by next year, guys, I will have his car on the drag strip for you guys. I know it's been years. I've been talking about it. I've been saying it and not doing it. But this is going on the uh, drag strip next year. Uh, so I'm going to have Dave to put the best of the best in there. And we're going to do what it make it do. Uh, then I'm going to get a tune. Hopefully from Boost Crew after everything is said and done. And uh, after that, man, uh, we would be ready to go. So let me go ahead and get started. Put these things together so we can get this thing to get the transmission out. So if y'all ever get one of these right here from uh, Harbor Freight, um, that's what it's going to look like when you open it up. You got your wheels and your plate and your hardware right here. And you get two of them. So, all right, guys. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get these installed. Assemble these. And uh, so we get right on that. So me and my son got the dollies put together. So, guys, we about ready. We about ready to make it do what it do. Yeah. So, I'm going to let that drain probably out for another day. Then we're going to get this thing started so I can hear him get it back. Yep, can't wait. So let me go ahead and uh, let's get started on this. Get these dollies out. Let me go ahead and get started.
I have to get another jack. All right, so I got, got the dollies underneath, so I moved it out just a little bit. I think really this might be enough where I can work on it for real. I got plenty of room on this side. Let me just move this around just a little bit. I don't know if it's hitting on something. It's probably all the room I need right here. Cause I can get, I got enough room on that side. I can lay down on this side right here. So I'm ready to remove this transmission guys. So as you can see, I got plenty of room, plenty of room to drop the transmission and pull it out to the side. So I'm good here. So let's get started. I think the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to do, let me see here. I've definitely got to remove this downpipe. Uh, and then to get to get the headers and stuff off. Uh, then I got to do the TA bolts on the top part. I'm going to leave the bottom ones. And then the drive shaft. So, so we'll see how this goes. So let's get started. Uh, so the first thing I'm about to do, I'm about to take, uh, take my downpipes and stuff off. To get to the headers, I mean not the headers, but the damn pipe. I gotta take this pipe right here off. So let me go ahead and get that started. So I got the tools and everything. I'm gonna need to just take this uh, pipe off right here. The delete, can't let delete pipe, whatever, wherever it's called. Also, this proper right here. Probably help me take all this stuff off a little bit quicker than than what I'm used to. So we'll see. So let me get this taken off, and uh, and I'll get back with y'all guys. Where's my tools at? Oh my gosh, this is what takes me so long. It's just finding tools, losing tools, searching for tools. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be freaking kidding me. All right, so I finally found the tools. Oh my gosh. So, look at this thing going, guys. This, oh my God. All right, let me be get back with you. So I finally got everything, the exhaust uh, disconnected from this. I don't think I have to remove uh, this cutout right here. So, only thing I want to do is just unloosen that down pipe and just get it out of the way from the, try to get that header bolt on this uh, passenger side. 
So the next thing I gotta do, I just gotta go ahead and remove all these bolts. We're loosening that up. Um, that's where I need to get to, that bolt right there, to uh, remove this uh, um, the pipe right there underneath the car. So I get that done. So the only thing I forgot to do, I forgot to disconnect my battery, which I just did. That's what I'm doing now. Just disconnect this. I forgot all about it. So we disconnect that. And let me go ahead and start finish up on these bolts right here. I done got uh, two out. I got two more to go. All right, so I got the uh, damn pipe. Uh, I got it taken off. Now my thing is I need to remove that bolt right there to get the uh, crossover pipe off. So I'll get that done. Then we get the uh, drive shaft and then we'll remove the, uh, the mounts and all that stuff underneath and uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is where I'm at right now. I remove the cutout, remove the crossover. Um, I think my next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and disconnect the detent cable, drive shaft, and this should be no problem right here. Just a few bolts to hold the transmission up and just getting this right here off, but yeah, we moving along. All right, since I got uh, all that stuff done on that end, well, not all of it, but I want to go ahead and remove the drive shaft. Let's see here. Yeah. We'll go ahead and remove that, get it out of the way, and then we'll go ahead and do the uh, torque converter bolts, and then we'll remove the transmission mounts and stuff. Well the cross member yeah. and then we should be almost there all right so this is where we at i got the uh, drive shaft unhooked uh i got the bolts out of these uh cross member right here this transmission where the cross member whatever uh and now i'm up here trying to remove uh, my let me show you what i'm trying to do up here now, I'm trying to remove my coil pack right here so I can get uh, those uh, bolts back there, those TA bolts back there, transmission bolts located back there. And then after I remove this, I do the torque converter bolts and then it should be ready to drop. So it's the next day, so I'm gonna finish up on the Grand National. Um, I got a lot of stuff done yesterday. All I need to do is just uh, remove the um, torque converter bolts and then the bolts to the uh, transmission to the block. And this thing should be ready to drop. So I'm going to get that stuff going right now. It shouldn't take that long. But yesterday I was kind of tired because I wanted to watch some football. So, you know, my team won. You got to know I'm a Louisville fan, Louisville Cardinal fan. So they won Friday night. Place to bet, Kentucky Wildcat. Y'all disappointed me. Every time I bet, y'all lose. So if you're a Kentucky fan... Y'all disappoint me this year because I'm putting money on you and I'm losing money. With that being said, guys, let me go ahead and get this car, um, Camaro, the Lucifer, pulled out so we can get started on the Grand National. Push it back out so we can finish it. All right, should be enough room right there. All right, man, let's get this done. All right, the pickup where we left off yesterday is uh, I definitely have to get this um, that one bolt off. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's uh, right down here somewhere. Uh, where is it at? Anyway, I have to remove that bolt, and it's holding this, um, the uh, transmission guide right here. So let me get that done. After I remove that bolt, it should be so easy. Right there, it's a hard spot right there to get. For me, it is. And then I'll do the torque converter bolts. 
and then we'll do the rest of the bolts. It should be ready to drop. I hope. So this is where we at right now. Uh, the hardest part was trying to find a, uh, something to get that one bolt out over here. Uh, like I say, I'm limited on tools over here. So I got it out. Now we're underneath here. We're going to try to um, get the torque converter bolts out. Uh, so it's a 15 millimeter and I need, I got my, uh, I've got my screwdriver here. Hopefully I can uh, keep it from rotating as I unloosen that. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see if we can get this thing going. get this one off. We got a couple more to go. All right, so far I got everything unbuttoned, got all the bolts out. The hardest thing was the um, the bolts to the uh, from the transmission to the engine block. I don't know what torque was on there, but I had a, it took me a while to get those off because I had to break them off. It, it was on there pretty good. But uh, it's time to drop this down. Let me find my gloves real quick. Right. So, I know when it comes down, it's gonna, it's not gonna look pretty, but I'm gonna do my best to keep it from, I ain't gonna hope I don't pinch my, get my hand, but I'm gonna slow it down real slow. I'm gonna wiggle it. Let me go on this side and make sure everything is okay. Make sure ain't nothing catching. This side looks pretty good. I ain't really worried about this because I gotta get a new one. This is busted up anyway, so I gotta get a new one of these. So let me go on the other side and see if everything's okay. Bend the transmission lines down a little bit. Sorry. Right. We'll see if I can find me a uh, some kind of uh, something to hold these lines back before I drop it. It might clear it. Let me do. Let me see if I can find me something to hold these lines back. Cause my luck, something will happen. All right, I got the lines away from the end, uh, from the transmission as close as possible. But let me hold this. I'm, I if it falls, it falls. I ain't trying to smash my hand. So I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. I scoot it back from the engine. Work down some more. Try to make sure it's away from the engine. From the flywheel. Alright. So it looks like it's gonna tilt back. I should have put this jack just back here a little bit more. Because I forgot about all the weights in the front. I don't know if I can adjust it, but anyway, we'll we'll make it do. Okay. 
All right. So that's as far as it's going to go. And that's good enough for me. I just want to make sure everything is um, clear and everything. Then I'm going to jack the car up and then I'll be able to get it out. But we almost there. All right, so what I'm trying to do now is just try to slide this transmission off this wood right here. So I'll get it back on the on the ground. So there it is. There we go. It's not bad for a one one guy job, ain't it? I just need to get this on the ground just a little bit more. All right. There it is. It's officially out. All right. Now let me reject this carp a little bit more so I can slide this thing out. Now I'll get back with y'all. All right, guys, there we go. Transmission is out. Not bad. So this will be shipped out sometime next week or so. Send it back to Dave. Let him do his magic. Put the sauce in it. I'm just gonna have him to redo everything. So no sense playing around since he's got it. I'm gonna have him put all the good parts in there. They don't really matter. Um, then we're gonna talk about torque converter and all that stuff and see what we can do. Since my car been modded a little bit since the last time his transmission, hopefully he can, uh, you know, give it a more a little bit more sauce to it. All right. So now I'm just gonna clean up, clean this mess up, put up the tools and everything. Um, it took me longer than I expected because I couldn't find certain tools that I needed. And, uh, but it's all good. I got it done. Um, got all my bolts and everything labeled and everything. So, so that should be it, guys. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Um, like I say, I'm going to get in contact with Dave and uh, let him do his magic on it. So with that being said, guys, it's going to be it for the video. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I know it's like 70-some percent of you guys who watch the channel is not subscribed. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you made it this far, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I know you don't want to miss and see what's next. Uh, definitely going to get that transmission done. And then I'm getting the uh, fuel system upgrade on that next month. Uh, I just got to find the time to uh, take off from work to take it, drop it off, and let them do their uh, magic on that so I can take that to the track. Uh, I definitely don't like getting on it knowing that something is not right about it. Um, if y'all see one of the videos, y'all see on the dyno graph, uh, it kept dropping. I think I'm, I'm running out of fuel in that car right there. So I don't want to push it. Um, if, if the fuel was good, I would took his track, car to the track a long time ago. But like I said, I'm not going to damage anything. And while it's there, I might as well just go ahead and get E85 put to it. So with that being said, guys, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Like the video, guys. Uh, it really helps the channel. And uh, what else? Well, that's about it, guys. So until the next one, guys, I'm out. Peace.